everybody, welcome back to Alan's Awesome Keto World. Um, hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, I had an awesome day. It's Friday, it's the start of the weekend. I can't wait. Um, today, I thought I'd bring something really cool, something really quick and easy, something I really like. It really helps me stay on track. And when you're not getting enough fat in your diet, this is the perfect way to do it. This is a keto fat bomb, a strawberry, awesome strawberry keto fat bomb that's just going to blow your mind away when you bite into it and taste it. So I'm going to go through here and start making it. Um, again, I, I, I am the type of person that has to look kind of at a recipe as I'm going along. So if you see me sitting here looking at my notes or something like that, you just know that um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of following, following the, the order. So first I'm going to start off by uh, taking in, and we're going to take some strawberries and we're going to Perrier them. So I do have my uh, trusty Ninja blender with me. I'm going to put in about three or four ounces of strawberries into the blender. Um, I'm going to whip them up. Just like that, nice. So they mix really good. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a mixing bowl. We're gonna take a mixing bowl like this. Uh, we're gonna take all, all the kind of the ingredients to put in. We're gonna put in the, uh, the cream cheese. So this is eight ounces of cream cheese that we're gonna put in. So put in that eight ounces of cream cheese um, into the bowl. Um, now the cream cheese and the butter, um, I'm gonna put the butter in as well. Um, the butter and the cream cheese, you have to let come up to room temperature. So it's a good idea to take them out of the refrigerator, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, about three or four hours prior to, uh, to making these. So they whip up pretty good. Um, so I would take that and then I would take the butter, put the butter in there. This is uh, five tablespoons of butter. Um, put it in there as well. Um, and then the next thing is we're gonna take some artificial sweetener. So I'm going to take the artificial sweetener that we have. Um, this happens to be a stevia. It happens to be confectionery so that um, it's really fine, so that it really mixes well. If you use granular, it, it's really thick um, as far as big, and, and um, it doesn't blend as well. So the, uh, the stevia uh, confection actually works much better. Um, so this is what that is. I'll put that in there as well. So a couple, only a couple of ingredients in this thing. Oop. Oh no. All right, I got it. I'm gonna put in a little bit of uh, vanilla into it. Uh, it actually calls for some strawberry extract. Um, I don't have any strawberry extract, so I'm gonna use some vanilla. It's a good substitute and it works really well. So um, it works for me. So that's, that's what I do, some pure vanilla. Um, so use that. Then we're gonna take, and I forgot to, to get my, uh, my beaters out. Oh. Sorry about that. I can get my uh, beaters out because we're gonna mix this all up. Move my ninja out of the way. And then we're just gonna mix this all up. I'm gonna put the strawberries in here as well. Get it all in there good. Close it up, put it over here. And then we're gonna mix it all up. So that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not.
Now once you get it nice and smooth, I don't know if you can see the consistency in there. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. So uh, what I would do is I'm going to take my silicone mold next. So this is my silicone mold. Push this out of the way, make sure you can see it. So this is a silicone mold, you'll see. So um, really good. If you're interested, and in, in, uh, I'm going to put all the, all of the stuff in the link below so that if you, uh, you want to look at and you, you're interested in making one of these, you know where to go get it. Um, so I'll put the links down below. Um, hey, if you like this video, do me a favor. Um, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's pretty good. I'm going to tell you, you make them and taste them, you're definitely going to like them. So um, I would definitely put this on <clears throat> one of those things that you're going to make. So um, they're great to, like I said, give you that additional fat that you're looking for. That was one of the things people complain about a lot of, is not being able to get the fat required. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to scoop some out and you're going to put it into the, the tray. There's no great way to doing it. There's just, you know, sticking it in there and getting it to go. So No fast way of doing it, and just it's got a pretty thick consistency, so Like I say, this is the hardest thing about the recipe is putting them in the uh, in the thing. Hey, if you have uh, suggestions of other things you'd like to see me make, um, let me know. Um, I actually have some upcoming videos. Um, I'm making some some Cheddar Bay biscuits. If you don't know what Cheddar Bay biscuits are, have you ever been to Red Lobster and ate the biscuits at Red Lobster? Um, that's going to be one of the next things on my list. Um, I had a viewer or subscriber ask me about... Um, making some some uh, smoothies so I have a I have some smoothies I have a strawberry and a chocolate smoothie um, I'm gonna make one or the other or maybe both uh, we'll see so you'll see this actually has made right now about um, about 16 17 and then we're gonna take I find one of the best ways to do this is, is to take something like this um, and kind of scrape it so we can get it nice and smooth. Let's fill the, uh, the ones that are almost empty. Uh, sometimes when you do this, you can get an extra one or two out of it, too. Um,
All right, so that's what it's going to look like. Now I will tell you, you'll see that I notice that the pan is like this. So now this is going to go into the oven. I mean, not going to, this is going to go into the freezer. So um, I'd like to have it somewhat sit flat in the freezer. Um, so one of the things that I do um, when I do that, I, I get another pan and I put it inside the other pan when I go to put it in the freezer. Um, it's a really good idea. So I saw this on somebody else doing this, right? So basically all I'm doing is I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that in the pan like this. So it's nice and flat, sitting flat. It's well protected. I'm going to take and put it in my freezer. It's going to sit in the freezer for three to four hours. So um, after I set it in the freezer, um, I'll, we'll come back. We'll check it out. We'll pull one out. We'll do the, the ultimate test, the taste test. That's my favorite part. I think uh, I know these are going to be really, really good. So I've had them before. I have them all the time. I usually keep some of these in the freezer. Um, when I get that little craving or I need that little extra fat in my, my daily diet because I didn't reach my fat goals for the day, I can pop one of these things out and I can put it in there. So into the freezer it goes. All right, it's in the freezer. Um, just a quick thing, uh, just to give you some of the, the macros on this thing. So each one of those is a total of um, 1.7 carbs, um, 7 grams of fat, um, 1.1 gram of fiber, um, 0.1 grams of uh, sugar, um, sugar hat, alcohol is 0.8. So the total net carbs on one of those things is 0.8. So it's 0.8 for every one you eat. So how can you go wrong, right? So, you know, there's 70 calories in it. You need to get that extra fat in your diet every day. What's better than a nice, delicious strawberry fat bomb? So it's an awesome strawberry fat bomb. So I'm hoping you'll really like it. Hopefully you'll try it. Hopefully you'll subscribe. Hopefully you'll like, you'll give me a thumbs up for the likes and we'll see it here in about four hours and see how it comes out. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, it's been about three and a half hours. Um, let's go and check on the, uh, uh, the awesome strawberry fat bombs. <laughs> So this is what they look like when they come out. Pretty tasty, I'm telling you. See the pieces of strawberries in there? Oh my goodness. It is unbelievable, I'm telling you. Wait. So you just take them out and you just see that in these silicone things, you just pop them out and they come out kind of like this. So that's what they look like. Um, so we'll sit here and we'll, let's take a little bite, all right? Oh my goodness. That's so unbelievably good. I'm telling you. Hey, don't forget, you like the video. I know you're going to like these if you make them. You like the video, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. And hopefully we'll have more suggests below what you would like to see. I'll put the links for all this stuff down below as well. So have a great day and have an awesome evening. I'll talk to you later.